I guess I gotta explain racism to dumb white Jack Dylan Grazer fans. <laughs> but yeah, let's go over it. You can't be racist to white people. You can't. Now, you can have prejudice towards white people. You can have that. But you can't be racist towards white people. Because white people have never been historically nor systematically oppressed for being white. And this is coming from a white person who used to believe that you could be racist towards white people. You can't. I'm sorry if that hurts your little cracker feelings, but it's the truth. Now can all of you triggered Triscuits shut up and just laugh at my- <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo! Can we have security to the ring, please? Security to the ring, please? You think this shit is funny? You think it's a fucking day? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly why at the top I said please do not try to physically involve yourself in any of the matches. Once again, it is for your safety and the safety of all our wrestlers here. So please, please do not involve yourself in the ongoings here at Cosplay Championship Wrestling. It was just it was just for a prank video. It was a prank video? Yeah, it was my fault. Prank video? It's my fault. I got you. I got you. Oh, we're no, live. Because you another motherfucker. You are not. Oh, it was just anywhere. for a video. Y'all think this okay. shit is a fucking game? Fucking prank video? Yeah, I'm serious. Fuck that shit. Nobody motherfucking tell y'all to come in there. The fuck y'all think this is? We're, we're, we're not no, we're not. We're far from it, motherfucker. No, you're not going anywhere. Unfortunately, you all met me when I lacked boundaries, and I was a people pleaser. So let me reintroduce myself. I burn fucking bridges. teaching alongside another queer neurodivergent educator and we have been rocking our two's class. We've been talking about gender and skin color and consent and our bodies is an autonomy. It's been fabulous. But our teaching team is shifting and a new person is being onboarded, someone with many years of experience. So today at the lunch table, when the topic of gender and genitals came up, one of our students plainly looked up and said, well, I'm a girl today, but I know that teacher Ko isn't. No, they're Envy. 
And the look on the incoming teacher's face was priceless. She was shocked in a good way. And she just looked around at the two of us and said, this class is incredible and I am so impressed. Donald Trump facing new criticism for something he did on the campaign trail last night in South Carolina while defending his debunked claim that he saw thousands of Muslims celebrate the collapse of the Twin Towers here in New York. He appeared to mock a reporter with a disability. Take a look. Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I, oh, maybe that's what I said. This is 14 years ago. He still, they didn't do a retraction. That reporter he is talking about is Serge Kovaleski, who now works for the New York Times. As you can see right there, he suffers from a chronic condition that impairs movement of his arms. A Times spokesman says they find it outrageous that Trump would ridicule the man's appearance. Uncle Sam's Lanes in Troy, New York, decided to do this to a homeless man as a snowstorm was starting. filled that bucket with water you'd already decided you were going to throw it on him you told him he had 30 seconds you gave him 20 at best and as he started complying and was getting too far away you actually sped up your count so you could make sure you still hit him then you got in his face gloated about how he was wet now as you were sending him off out into a snowstorm to never come back your buddy laughing as he's recording and then he posted it he posted it where someone else saw it and recorded it and shared it. And that's why we get to see it now. We get to see what you really are. He is a human being who under the best circumstances would have trouble surviving that snowstorm if he didn't find shelter. And to make matters worse, you soaked him with water and sent him out into it. So if you saw that and you have strong feelings about it, that would be Uncle Sam's Lanes at 600 Fulton Street, Troy, New York. Just in case you wanted to tell them what you think about it. <laughs> Ce mec-là a positionné. Il a positionné. Regarde. Il a positionné des verres là. Donc un verre ici où les gens pissent. Voilà. Et un verre ici. Il va revenir, il va revenir. Il revient là 
Ele é uma vida rubiamente. Et là, du coup Et là, du coup Il va boire la pisse des gens. Oh, c'est horrible. C'est horrible. Yes, general preferences are always transphobic. You're welcome. No, but seriously, deciding that you don't want to be intimate with someone because of the genitals they have is transphobic, particularly like if you think about in this case, this means that this person is not open to dating trans women, which invalidates their womenhood. Not only that, it makes assumptions about the way that trans people are going to want to use those genitals. The idea that trans people use the body parts that they have in the same way that cis people with those same body parts do is transphobic. Say it with me. Genital preferences are always transphobic. What is your favorite anime and why? Uh, have you heard of an anime called My Little Sister Can't Be This Cute? I'm home and my driveway's gone. What used to be a concrete slab outside 1438 Bethesda Street is now a patch of dirt that she didn't ask for. Someone took her driveway as she was trying to get ready for Christmas. Of all the things that you worried about getting stolen, did you think the driveway was one of them? <laughs> no, not at all. Steven here. You got the wrong house. <laughs> I knew this was a ripoff. Okay, what, are you looking for a Steven? No, I am Steven. I'm looking for uh, Fifi. Yeah, you got the wrong house. So, you don't want to have sex tonight? Uh... Or my husband's in the living room with the gun. Huh. Okay. Have a good Understood. <laughs> Everyone's asking me, Philip, where do you stand on the Palestine Israel conflict? Take a side. You need to pick a side. I don't know. I don't have time to educate myself because I have my own conflict. I have my own war inside me. Every day when my father came home when I was young was a conflict. Every day was a war. He would come home from the bar and we would all have to hide. My house, my home was my Gaza Strip. My family was my war. And every time I come on TikTok, I have another conflict. All the haters in my comments. All the trolls in my life. 
That's my struggle. That's my war. So excuse me for not being educated on global issues. When I'm dealing with personal struggles. It's so easy to pick a side. But what's really hard is to take a look in the mirror and say, what conflict am I dealing with? And my conflict is my trauma, is my TikTok hate. But what is your Palestine and Israel conflict? What internal struggle, internal war are you dealing with? Let me know in the comments below. Because mental health still matters. According to my calculations, the person viewing this video has been a very, very good girl and deserves a forehead kiss and a little treat. <laughs> What has this world come to? It's come to a world where drag kids actually exist. And people do ketamine on a couch. And people How? do ketamine on a couch. You thought. Baby Bean, you are being so bad. What is with the attitude? Have you eaten today? I'm waiting. That's what I thought. You better go fucking do it. He can't find the key. <laughs> Girls night, John. Kat has to come home with me. I don't want Alex to leave. I'm like, let's hang up each other. And guess who threw away the key? <laughs> John did. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave you here. That's, that's the plan. He wants us to stay. <laughs> I'm so over both of you. Ooh la la. You're the corniest. <laughs> oh my god, I hate you. Why can't these be like the soft, fuzzy ones? They're kind of tiny. It's like, ow. <laughs> White kid named Martyr, his shit harder. Bitch, I'm taking now. Mama said, Don't you trust the thought that ain't